There's an old saying, you see what you want to see, and one may add, you hear what you want to hear, you feel what you want to feel. Ten people can look at me and each will have a different perception of me. In this culture, we're trained to see people by race. Some people stay on race and rarely move away, and their perceptions are based on the stereotype exactly what they were taught. Race, as far as they are concerned, it is the end all for everything for them. Others, the more educated, I think, see race initially and soon move past that and into the person as a human being. Hair color, eye color, skin color, height, weight are all accidents of birth. But the person and personality is a product of self-awareness and enlightenment. The superficial gives way to the created. That is, the person created by the individual dominates. It is an opinion, of course, but one formed from watching babies, one formed by observing nature. Babies are not born to hate, they are taught to hate. Babies are not born with prejudices, they are simply taught prejudices. Babies are all born to be natural and to be naturally beautiful. The corruption of their persona is the product of their parents. In nature, everything is beautiful. It is all in the eyes of the beholder. This video is all about moths, butterflies, and flowers. Each frame is different, and yet, in my eyes, each frame is beautiful. I spend a lot of my time around nature, around moths, butterflies, and flowers. I do so as reminders that each and every one of us were born to be beautiful. Two, in fact, love each other as we are, the naturally beautiful people that we are. As individuals, we work at being unkind, unpleasant, and disruptive. We work at hating each other. The mechanism for such discriminators are the result of many hours of practice, all based on perceptions. In getting back to nature, I see things the way they really are, and I embrace the beauty of it all. So, what's the point of all this? Choice. We're naturally beautiful people, or we can choose and practice not to be. It is no more complicated than that. As for nature, as you look at this, you also have a choice. You can either choose to see beauty, or you can insist on seeing flaws. I see beauty. What do you see?